in the home of the flame. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to take a second and freeze yourself and understand that you were at a Comedy Central roast and saw Snoop Dogg be ten times funnier than any motherfucker up here. Remember to mark that in your calendar. Jeff Ross has been trying to do that for 35 years. Our final roaster has more black men than Equifax. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the queen of mean, Lisa motherfucking Lapinelli. Mr. Hanky, come on. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Cat Williams, you are tiny. Stick around after the show. I'm going to use you as a tampon. <laughs> <laughs> it is an honor tonight to be here at the Comedy Central Roast of Flavor Flav. And what a dais we have here tonight. What a bunch of losers. The last time I heard the names of these idiots, I was playing Trivial Pursuit, the no one gives a shit edition. <laughs> but at least it was easy to find the place. When I map quested directions, it said go down Ventura and take a left when you smell the cocoa butter. <laughs> I love you, Cat Williams. I saw your HBO special. That was amazing. I haven't heard the N-word that many times since I told my father I'm banging a black man. <laughs> Cat Williams uses the N-word almost as often as Sarah Silverman uses Jimmy Kimmel for airtime. <laughs> By the way, black people, don't feel bad if you haven't seen Jimmy's show. It comes on after lights out. <laughs> but enough about this colossal failure. We're here tonight to roast Flavor Flav, a performer, a legend, and a family man. Flavor Flav is a father many times over. In fact, there are many Flav's kids as there are Jerry's kids. The difference is, Jerry's kids have a brighter future. <laughs> What's with the clothes, Flavor Flav? I saw you on Flavor of Love. You look like beef jerky in a tracksuit. <laughs> if Flavor Flav was any smaller and darker, Brad and Angelina would try to adopt him. <laughs> Dude, enough with the clock. You can take it off. You haven't had a bee anywhere in 13 years. <laughs> <laughs> Only a black person could wear a clock that big and still not be on time for anything. <laughs> I love Flavor Flav. As you know, I bang the blacks. My twat has been on more black guys' lips than purple Kool-Aid. <laughs> Ice-T is not only a mulatto rapper. <laughs> he is a great actor on Law and Order Special Victims Unit. Yes. It's hard for Ice-T to play a black police officer. Whenever he asks a victim what the criminal looked like, the victim always says, you. <laughs> But enough about the Negroes. <laughs> Patton Oswalt is here. Patton Oswalt, look at you with those tiny baby hands. Your hands are so small, you'd have to wear boxing gloves to fist me. <laughs> Patton Oswalt's face is so beat up when he got out of a car, I thought it was Britney Spears. <laughs> Don't you laugh at an unfunny joke, Carrot Top. You've got big muscles and a crappy act. You're a bad haircut away from being Joe Piscopo. Oh. Carrot Top. I used to think they called you Carrot Top because of your red hair. Now I know it's because everyone would love to see you buried up to your forehead in dirt.
Jeff Frost. You're a failure and you're nothing to look at. Looking at you, it reminds me to shave my taint. I joke. I love Jeff Frost, but come on, you're a middle-aged white Jew sitting up here with a bunch of rappers. I haven't seen you look this out of place since you were asked to headline. Bridget and I are friends. You were terrific. Wasn't she great, folks? Uh, she was as funny as she is relevant. Bridget, you're a good-looking woman, but I have to ask you, how did you flavor Flav? I more black men than FEMA, and I wouldn't touch him. It's nice to see the flavor of love girls here. Aren't they beautiful? I love them. They look like the 3 a.m. shift at the Jacksonville, Florida Waffle House. We're here tonight to honor the Urkel of VH1, Flavor Flav. A man who has gone from public enemy to public embarrassment. <laughs> Flavor Flav was a member of Public Enemy when their first albums went platinum. Sadly, his last solo effort went paper mache. <laughs> In closing, Flavor Flav, I'd like to be sincere and thank you for letting me make fun of you tonight. You've been an amazing sport. And frankly, on a personal note, I'd like to say you are my hero. You are proof that it's never too late to look for love. You inspire me, Flav, because if an odd-looking, shriveled-up California raisin like you can find 15 nappy-headed bitches to toss your salad, I gotta be able to scare up at least one chocolate daddy to lick my... <laughs> Thank you and good night. God bless you. Yes. I love you man. He's an icon and an ex-con. He's dynamic, subversive, prolific, and a bunch of other words he probably doesn't understand. He is truly one of a kind, except for the crazy dude that's outside the liquor store of Manchester and Western. He's in the house and out of his mind, ladies and gentlemen, a true superstar, Flavor Flav! <laughs> wow! One time, let me hear you say, Flavor Flav! Flavor Flav! <laughs> <laughs> After listening to all these jokes about me, I just realized something. I'm fucked up! <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, y'all, this roast reminds me of my show. It's one star in a room full of bitches. Oh. <laughs> All you roasters, I'm about to give all you nicknames like I be doing the girls on my show. <laughs> Start with you, cat. I'm gonna call you Sickle Cell. Cause black folks is the only ones that get you. <laughs> Yo, Snoop. Take the hood off your head, my nizzle, for shizzle, nizzle. I can't believe some of the shit you said about me, but let's face it, home. This ain't the first time you got away with murder. Oh. Yeah. Bridget Nielsen. Yo, you know I respect you. I value you as a person. So I'm going to call you Big Giant Jugs. <laughs> wow. I love you, Gita. And I love you, you heard me? <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel! I'm gonna call you funny. 
You should at least hear it once before you die. <laughs> Yo, Jeff Ross. Right here, play. I'm gonna give you a rap name. Oh, ugly bastard. <laughs> yeah, for real, G, you know what I'm saying? Your jokes was straight up racist, simple and plain. Motherfuck you and John Wayne. I just want to say it's been a great honor, man, to be made fun of by all of these talented people up here, you know? And I ain't going to lie, man, but I've been through some hard times, you know what I'm saying, in my life. But tonight, your man Flavor Flav is back on top, baby. Thank y'all for coming, you know what I'm saying? Yo, Snoop, Ice, Jimmy, Kara, everybody, all of y'all, man. I love y'all, man. Thank y'all for coming. Good night, y'all. And that was the roast of Flavor Flav from 2007. Dude, that was awesome. Yeah. So fucking that good. That was good. <laughs> we had to think about some stuff here. but uh, So good. Let's start off hard with Greg Giraldo. Yeah, Greg Giraldo. My, uh, he Holy. came out so strong. Yeah. 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 Dude. Just one liner after the Yeah. I mean, even like Jimmy Kimmel killed it. He went it. dark yeah. and he was Jimmy, so I've funny. Never seen him and dark. he went natural too. Like he just went kind of like you know, just like how everyone like reacted and like, yeah, he just, mentioned everything. Like he saw on the audience. Yeah. That funny. interaction with the the flavor of love girl. Yeah, yeah. That, that part. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> like before I, the perception. I mean, I'll change the perception <laughs> about you. <God. laughs> Well, I was interrupted by these. Oh, oh my God. Oh, yeah, so yeah, that funny. was so good. He was hard. Lisa Lampanelli and that hard. Dude, Snoop Dogg, I believe that was his first roast. Oh, so good. Roast. Yeah, uh, the, the speech they gave to Lisa Lampanelli about the, you know, Izzo at the end. That, yeah. that killed it for that me. That was probably my favorite part. Yeah, uh, see who else, dude? There was so much that happened in this roast here. Like, so much. The carrot tops. Uh, yeah. Carrot top were pretty props. Good. Yeah. Dude. It was all also good. Yeah. All of them hit. Yeah, uh, and then even like uh, uh, Snoop Bag uh, roasting uh, Ice T about the didn't have a cassette, uh, cassette yeah, tape. Cassette, play, yep. <laughs> cassette player. Oh yeah, man, awesome. I don't know. It's like this is good. This was so this good. This is so. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that yeah. we did this. Dude. Yeah, I like the part where Jeff Ross talked about uh, Ice T. I'm not gonna make fun of your wife, Coco. We're just on that vanilla latte. <laughs> That was so good. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> I mean, Bridget Nielsen tried. She did try. Yeah. Just, you know, it's not her. That's why she said she's not yeah. a comedian. Yep, I mean, she, she a for effort, yeah. yeah. Uh, some more was okay, or some, you know, yeah, yeah. But then, like, the, the stick at least Laminelli stuck out. Uh, yeah. Snoop, of course, Ice T, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Dude, they went hard. They went dark. I would watch it again. Yeah, this is. I don't know how the edit's going to be. This is like a lot of dark stuff. A lot of like stuff that. A lot of the a word. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Do you guys remember what Greg Giraldo said about some more? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, if it comes to making movies, uh, some more you should make some less. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so clever. That's yeah. such a good. And then I forgot that uh, Bridget Nielsen. Dated Sylvester Stallone also, right? I mean, oh yeah, they, yeah, they because uh, yeah, um, during uh, Rocky. Yeah, I don't know if you guys saw Rocky Four. Yeah, Rocky Four. That's yeah, what she, she, she were, That's what she's known for. Yeah. Yeah. So and then she ended up. They had a reality show together too. Her at Flavor Flav. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They own like when they were married or something like that. I, I I've never watched it, but Sylvester Stallone lived his career in there. <laughs> <laughs> Cat too. Cat was really great. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cat was a great host. You're right. Yeah, the stuff that he said. I kept uh, thinking about what he said about when he was mad, though. Oh, yeah, but when yeah. Uh, during his special. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but overall, I mean, he, at the end, he said, you know, they have to pay me, boy. You know, that's, yeah. that's his, his thing right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he was getting picked on. Carrot Top was getting picked on hard oh, for everybody. No. Right? <laughs> to what Lisa said? The dirt joke? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there was there was so much here. That was good. It was good. Uh, I like this. I mean, you said Bieber one was good. Well, how do you feel now about this one? <laughs> Bieber's still my favorite. Still yeah. your favorite? Same. But this Yours is too? real close. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're good. neck and neck, but... Yeah. No, I enjoyed this one more. You you watched both? Bro? Yeah, yeah. I watched yeah. both. Um, yeah. I, I like it about even. that They have, like, you know... This one kind of brings me back, kind of like older times. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, th I believe this was my first roast ever watching. That's okay. how I was introduced to the other roast. So I've seen some of them, not all of them. You know, so we will get into more roast here. Of course, Lucky's welcome to join us. You know, again. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so we've already done three rolls on the channel, I believe. So there's more to come. Yeah. So we're good. Good. Yeah, we, we're loving this. So if you do like our reaction, please like, comment, subscribe. Also hit the notification bell. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. In the home of the flame.